Beauty and the Beast. Chapter One: Riches to Rags. There was a good, wealthy merchant with three sons and three daughters. The merchant's daughters were beautiful. The youngest was called Beauty. Beauty was beautiful on the inside and on the outside. She was never unkind to anyone. Her sisters were different. They were beautiful on the outside, but not on the inside. They went to parties every day. They laughed at Beauty because she didn't go to these parties. Suddenly, the merchant lost his wealth. The family was poor. They had to move to a house in the country. They had to find work. Beauty, her father, and brothers worked hard. The men worked all day on the farm. Beauty kept the house. She also read books and played music for the family. However, her sisters did not know what to do. They slept late every day. They only thought, "Life is terrible. We are poor." They thought beauty was stupid to be happy. Chapter two. The strange palace. One day, the merchant was told that a ship had come. It carried goods for him. The family would have money again. The two eldest daughters asked their father to buy expensive things. They wanted new dresses and shoes. Beauty's father asked Beauty what she wanted. Beauty said. Just a rose. That is all I want, Father. Beauty really wanted nothing, but if she asked for nothing, her sisters would be mad. That would make them look bad. <coughs> Beauty's father went to collect his goods from the ship. However, there was a problem. Beauty's father could not get the goods. He had to return home as poor as before. On the way home, the merchant became lost. It rained and snowed. A strong wind blew him from his horse twice. He thought he would die. Then the merchant saw some lights. They were from a palace. At the palace, the merchant discovered a barn. He put his horse there. Then he hurried to the palace door. He called out, but no one came. The merchant went into the palace. He found a magnificent room. A huge fire was burning. There was a table of delicious food. He waited and waited, but no one appeared. He was very hungry. He helped himself to a delicious chicken and some wine. After eating, he decided to explore the palace. The merchant discovered a bedroom. A large, soft bed was in the room. The merchant got in the bed and went to sleep. Chapter Three: The Merchant and the Beast.
Beauty's father woke the next morning. He was surprised to find magnificent new clothes. He was sure this was a kind fairy's palace. He looked out the window. There he saw beautiful flowers, not snow. He also found more delicious food in the room where he ate dinner. The merchant said to no one, "Thank you. You are a kind fairy." After eating, the merchant went to get his horse from the barn. On the way, he passed the most magnificent roses. Beauty had asked him for one rose. He picked one. <laughs> Then he heard a great roar. An angry beast was running up to him. The beast roared, "You are taking my roses. I helped you. Then you do this in return." The merchant fell to his knees. "My lord, please don't kill me. Your roses are so magnificent. I could not help myself. This one was a gift for my daughter." The beast was interested in the merchant's daughter. Send your daughter to me," said the beast. "Then you will not die. If she refuses, you must return. Do you agree?" the beast asked. Beauty's father agreed. He got his horse and went home. Chapter Four: Beauty and the Beast. Arriving home, Beauty's father gave Beauty the magnificent rose. Then he told his family about the beast. Beauty's two sisters became angry at Beauty. They said their father would die because of the rose. Beauty promised that their father would live. Beauty said, "I will go. I will give my life to save our father." Beauty's sisters were happy. They were happy that Beauty was giving herself to the beast. Beauty's father was crazy with grief. Finally, The day came to return to the beast's palace. Beauty's sisters cried. However, they were not really sad for Beauty. Beauty was sad to leave, but she did not cry. She did not want her family to worry. Beauty and her father traveled together to the beast's palace. <laughs> When they got there, they went into the palace's huge hall. Then they heard the beast's loud roar. <coughs> Beauty was afraid. When the beast came into the room, she was more afraid. Beauty told the beast that she came willingly. The beast thanked the merchant for his honesty. He let Beauty spend one last night with her beloved father. <laughs> Chapter Five: The Queen of the Palace. The next morning, Beauty's father cried as he left. When our father was gone, Beauty cried too. Then she decided to stop crying. Crying did not help. Beauty explored the palace. 
she was surprised to find a door with a sign. It said, Beauty's Room. She opened the door. Inside, she discovered a library. Beauty opened a book. Inside were words written in gold. The words said, Do not be afraid, Beauty. You are the queen here. Wish for anything. You will get it. Beauty closed the book. She said to herself, I have a single wish. I wish to see my father. A looking glass appeared. She saw her family's cottage in the glass. She saw her father. He looked very sad. She saw her two sisters. They looked happy. Beauty's sisters were happy. They were happy Beauty was gone. Chapter 6 The Gold Ring At dinner, there were candles on the table. All of the food was delicious. Beauty agreed to dine with the beast. The beast asked Beauty, Am I ugly to you? Beauty did not want to lie. She told him, You are kind. Then he asked, Beauty, will you marry me? Beauty quickly answered, No. The beast left. Past, Beauty and the Beast dined together each evening. Beauty came to like the Beast. Every night, the Beast asked Beauty to marry him. Her answer was always no. Finally, he asked her to promise never to leave him. She promised. However, she first had to see her father again. Beauty promised to return in one week. The Beast was unhappy, but he agreed to let Beauty visit her beloved father. The Beast gave Beauty a gold ring. The magic ring would take her to her father. Later, it would bring her back to the Beast. That night, Beauty put on the ring. In the morning, she woke up in her father's house. Her father was so happy. That night, Beauty dressed herself in a magnificent dress from the Beast's palace. She dined with her sisters. Beauty's sisters were unhappily married. They saw how beautiful and happy Beauty was. The sisters decided to try and keep Beauty at home for more than one week. They hoped that the Beast would eat her for breaking her word. They began to be very kind to Beauty. Beauty agreed to stay more than a week. Chapter 7 Beauty and the Prince Beauty Missed the Beast One night, she had a dream about the beast in the palace. He was in bed. He looked like he was near death. Beauty woke up from her dream. She was crying. 
she had to see the beast. Beauty put on the magic gold ring. She went back to sleep. Beauty woke up at the palace. She dressed in her most magnificent clothes. She waited at the table to dine with the beast. The beast did not appear. Beauty looked everywhere in the palace. She finally found the beast. However, he appeared to be dead. Then he spoke in a gentle, loving voice. My life is nothing without you. When you did not return, I stopped eating. Without you, I want to die. I love you, Beauty said. Please don't die. Live and marry me, I beg you. Then music started to play. There was a strange light. Suddenly, the beast was gone. Standing before Beauty was a handsome prince. The prince said, You saved me, Beauty. A wicked fairy turned me into the beast. To become a prince again, a beautiful woman had to agree to marry me. The prince took Beauty to his real palace. They got married. They lived together happily in the palace for many years.